It is opening day of West Virginia's spring gobbler season. And it couldn't have started off more with a bang than it has up to this point. But I got come jumping out of the office. Got several guys this week hunting with us. Got John Lewis and Cody from Just Hunt Club. And uh, Hunter and is down here with Rogue Hunts. They came in last night just off the women and Jacob Myers with the Southern Outdoorsmen. They're all, we're all staying together and uh, turkey hunting this week. But then <laughs> Zach comes and gets me this morning. I overslept for one. I've been on a grind. This is my eighth day uh, turkey hunting. So he had to wake me up. So I'm rushing. I get outside to get in my Jeep to load up and I forgot my keys. So I said, well, let me run back up in the office and get my keys. Well, <laughs> I forgot my office keys. So we ended up taking Zach's truck. And, and then Zach, he says he don't know how much fuel is in his truck. He didn't think he's gonna have to drive. So we got that to deal with too. But <laughs> Zach roasted a bird yesterday evening. So we're up here and gonna see if we can't uh, Get on him. That's the game plan, ain't it? That's the game plan. <laughs> ain't nothing else with the plan worked so far, but hopefully this part does. Well, we've heard a bird as we're walking. My guy, the wind is picking up, though. It's supposed to be three to four miles an hour today. Well, they gonna add a zero onto that? Oh, oh! This flat or right there. Either way, we're gonna go try to kill him. He flew down. Oh, he's down. <coughs> yeah, that bird sounded like I mean, we know he's on the ground, but it sounded like me. Oh, he's right there.
So we got in here and got above his turkey. We thought that he was working down the holler. We, seems like now we figured out that he's going up the holler. Uh, he's not real fired up, but it's windy and he is a gobbling turkey. So we're gonna fool with him here a little bit and see if we can get out in front of him and do something with him. What do you think? Well, get out in front of him. I think we'll be in a lot better position. So get out of this wind too. I tell you, that's what he's doing. And he's down there warm legging it. across the holler is where I took that youth hunter Saturday and we killed a bird over there. And there was four or five birds right in here that I heard off in the distance. But I mean, there is no way we could hear them right now. Three to four mile an hour winds is what it said. With a zero. I mean, that's literally, that's 20. It's just. It's 15, 20 for sure. Well, Zach and I have been Riding around, running and gunning. It's been, ooh, <laughs> sorry about that. It has been very windy since about 7.30 and haven't heard him birds, but we came around to where we could call across the holler into a face of a hillside. Zach hooted, and I mean instantly gobble so i mean it's a long way away we're gonna head off the mountain go down the hard top and then go back up the mountain after him see what we can do with him so that's the game plan for now i've talked to everybody else they're just in windy conditions just trying to strike one and jay and jeff killed a double this morning so we're gonna to try to get on the board ourselves. Well, we got over here. We're gonna go out here, try to locate him. Hopefully he's still gobbling. It took us about 25, 30 minutes to get over here and get him called in.
seeing baby. Oh. Golly, he's up high though. Those two. I know, but he's yeah, they're way up there. We, right up, yeah, yeah. They just gobbled again. Let's go. Let's go, baby. You think we can go? Or you think we gotta go around and up? Oh no, I think that we should go. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think they're over here, Zach. They're up there on top, okay. for sure. Yeah. All right, let's get it. I know. Sounds like they went down the hill. Oh, they didn't. Is that right? These birds are somewhere down in this country. Josh is very indecisive. What he wants to do. We're going. Where's that slide at? I think them birds are 50 yards below us. Oh, I'd say they are. I agree. I think we ought to go right there and cut the distance. Okay. I do. I just hope that they ain't too close. So, Zach, I think we ought to run up here, really, and work our work the top until we feel like we can pull them up. That'll suck, but it won't be bad as soon as we hit that ridge. You want to go to the ridge, or you want to go around the ditch, boot in? We can do that. We can check that ditch. Go past the go, go past right where we're at and see if it opens up any. Yeah. And get down that multi floor. Let's do that. This is the point where we had got to before, but there's some multi floor in front of us. But I think if we get past it, then we're gonna sit down and try to call them birds in. We're gonna we're gonna cut the distance more than half.
Golly, dude. <laughs> that was one of the best hunts. <laughs> dude, I, I knew they was on I knew they was gonna pop up right there. I knew they had me fouled up like Chuck Bull. I done the old sneak and slide on him though. <laughs> Just stay right there. Thanks, oh, my back, dude. That rock, that rock busted me, son. <laughs> I let out a big yeah, baby, now. Hell, they, they was right there. Was it? Oh, yeah, just strutting and burk, 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 burk. <laughs> dude, look. Hey, that's one of them six inch Sherian Williams wide. That's that's for painting big blaze baseboards by God. Yeah, man. Dude, what a hunt. What a hunt. Make sure I didn't lose my strikers or nothing like you did. Yeah. Uh, oh, man, that's a good hunt. Oh, that was a that was a hell of a hunt. Especially, I mean, especially after a grind in Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> I, and I honestly, when they wasn't gobbling, I knew they was working this way. Yeah. And I really didn't under, didn't know if we'd get call them back here. You said, but I said I don't want to move and be impatient. Mm -hmm. Well, you literally 30 sec, 20 seconds before we seen them, you said we're getting ready to get. You were getting ready to probably just see them, see the I, sun. That's right. Them. I said, I said, you know what's going to happen. <laughs> I said, we're getting ready to see him, and here I am with the pot call in my hand. And the gun in your lap. And it's there. <laughs> Golly, Zach! Hey! <laughs> Always a daggone hoot, dude. <sighs> he said, just give me a minute, I'll get him. He said, <laughs> I, is that what I said? He said, just give me a minute, I'll get him. <laughs> Did I really? <laughs> And I and I sat here and told myself when they come through there, I knew they was gonna pop up right there. Oh, I did too. And I was like, I was should I go ahead and move? But mm. I saw one telescoping back here. Sure, that was the back one. There was I think five birds. Yeah, and and I couldn't I couldn't move because I was afraid that, uh, and I couldn't see his head, but I saw him moving. Yeah. And I was afraid to go ahead and just swing. Okay. And then that one come up there. Well, I was afraid that one of them was going to go like this. And then, and then back. Gone. Yeah. And then that was going to be it. But then I said, boom. Oh, that one come up there, bowed up like a baney rooster, by God. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I said, I'm fouled now. I got two sets of eyes on me. Yeah. I was like, yes. And you know, that's the greatest thing. That is one of the greatest things, I will go ahead and say it, about shooting a red dot. Because when I was, I was laying against that rock, and when those birds come up, I wasn't in the gun like you normally are. I was back here, and I went. What you're not supposed to be. <laughs> and I said, oh, I got him now. <laughs> and still, you know, as long as that, as dot long as that dot's on him, yeah. you're good. Uh, so. That is one good thing. You That's didn't... a fine little gun you got there, Zach. Is it? You like that? Yeah. <laughs> Man, that thing don't hardly kick near as bad as mine. Did you even have I want to let you know that I had to turn that on, I too, know. while they was moving That's in. That's what I thought. <laughs> I heard you over fidgeting around, and that's what I thought it was. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. When they was right there, I got in the gun to follow them. I went, oh, gosh. <laughs> it ain't on. <laughs> Hey, Big Daddy, you get you one of them Zins, I'm proud of Rogue. you. Rogue. Rogue. I'm going to get me a big celebratory. <laughs> Where'd all my snuff go? You're going to get a what? I was going to get a dip of snuff. I'm going to get a little pinch. <laughs> a little spinner? Yeah. What the heck? 
That's gonna be an upper lipper right there. I would get one with you, but after reading it, that the milligrams of <laughs> the Copenhagen, I'd have, I'd have pack you and the bird off here. <laughs> no doubt, man. I don't know if any any, any of the other guys are doing any good. I took a breath while trying to talk, and the crumbs went down my throat. You have been a, a mess, Rick, all day. I started off the day bad, and I don't I don't even know if I told y'all or did I tell him earlier. <laughs> Zach got to the office at 5:30. The guys from Just Hunt Club are here. Jacob from Southern Outdoorsman's here, and uh, Hunter with Rogue Hunts, and Jake Belinda, who interned for us a few years ago, he's here. Well, they was they got up and was gone this morning. Well, I was hunting closer than them, so I didn't have to worry about getting up, but I must have turned my alarm off. So Zach finally calls me, and I wake up, and he said, Bubby, come on. I said, I'll be down in a minute. So I was already late. Started my day off bad, because usually I pop up. I don't hit the snooze. Started off late. Got all my stuff to get a run down there. Door done shut behind me at the office, you hear me? Tried to find my key for the Jeep. It's in the office. I said, well, let me run up there and get my Jeep key. Well, I went to the door to my office. My keys to the office is in the office too. Locked down, baby. So Zach said, hell, we'll take my truck. Well, I will show y'all, but like Zach's truck ain't a hunting truck. It ain't meant to do nothing but pull and look good. It's loud. It sounds like an Abrams tank. It's obnoxious. Yeah, it is. It, like, we're, we probably shot gobbled birds driving over here. They hear it, and they're just, ah, da, da, da. So, it ain't been ideal. I caught a competitor, a competitor. Uh, I've been all quagmired here this morning. And, and then, uh, but now I will tell you, I don't know if Zach showed y'all or not while I was getting that bird. You can see over over this berm, and you can see that ridge line over there, and that's where Zach hooted when we struck these we struck these birds, and and we traveled all the way around, and and what time is it, Bubby? So two hours we've worked these birds once we got here. It yeah. was it was eight eight thirty when we got when we parked. Yeah and struck them all the way out there. And the wind was messing with me and Zach. We didn't know whether to move or sit, but we made the right move, obviously. And and me and Zach, we, we hunt good together. We always question each other. Spitting that crap all over the place. It makes, oh, it's hitting my... Yeah, hitting the lens and everything. But we always seem to make it happen. And Zach and I were talking to, this is the eighth day that I've hunted in a row. And then Zach killed that bird a week ago. And this is the eighth day I've hunted in a row and no luck with Brody. And it just feels good to get one on the ground. I'm actually gonna send send my little buddy Brody a uh, a picture there so he won't answer the phone. Well, he's at school, he can't answer the phone. I don't know if they can hear me over the exhaust, but I guess that's the fuel light we was worried about earlier too. Well, we just got off a mountain. Great day. Jay killed one, doubled up with his cousin Jeff. We had an awesome hunt. And uh, y'all like the video? Leave us a comment first and foremost. Hit the subscribe button. Go follow us on Facebook and Instagram.